Hey, what's going on, Sports Cards fans? It's Ray from Philly here on this Tuesday, May the 19th, 2020. And I'm here to discuss a new book that came out this week by Beckett Magazine on a potential another set registry for PSA that I'm going to submit my request to PSA. Uh, if you guys don't know already, I'm big into the PSA set registries and um, I do a lot of set registries from a writer, uh, the editor actually of Beckett, uh, Mr. Mike Payne. I do the 300 great baseball cards of the 20th century by Mike Payne PSA set registry based on that book. Then in early 2019, he released this in Beckett Magazine of the top 80 of the 80s and that was ended up being created as a new PSA set registry. He then earlier this year did a football uh, PSA set registry which I had on the show with myself and this baseball car life Mike uh, sports card talk number seven episode and we had Bart the PSA uh, PSA guy on make sure to go back and check out that video as well. Um, we had the uh, top 100 football NFL cards of all time. So, Mike Payne's at it again. Um, when we had him on our show on Sports Car Talk, you can go back and check that out too. Uh, he did uh, kind of lead off to us that he was going to do, uh, after he did the top 80 of the 80s, that he was going to do another decade, and he wasn't sure which decade it was going to be. Well, it has come out now, and it's going to be on the 1970s, and the book came in for me today on Vintage Collector on the Super 70s. The front cover is of Hank Aaron when he broke Babe Ruth's record on April 8th, 1974. So, <clears throat> I have to tell you though, the only thing about this though, it isn't all baseball. So, and he has added an extension to this, another 30 cards, just like he did on the top 80 of the 80s. He added a 20 card extension to make it an even 100. You can check that out on the Beckett website. He did the same thing with the top 70 of the 70s. There's another 30 cards that you could check out, so there's really 100 cards. Uh, but uh, this does have basketball in it, so this is a little bit of a twist. It does have football in there and some oddity kind of cards in there as well from movies and things like that. So I'm, I'm probably going to end up doing this because, uh, let's face it, I'm a, a, an addict when it comes to any kind of sports cards. I do like basketball and football and hockey and I like all sports cards, so it's not something that you have to do. Uh, first of all, the set hasn't even been created yet. So to in order to create a PSA set registry, you have to submit the request to PSA and you have to submit five graded cards that you want to be in that set. Of course, they have to be PSA slabbed. So I picked out five cards that are in this book from the 70s that I already have that are slabbed and later on tonight, I will be submitting my request. Usually takes a couple weeks before I hear back from them. So fingers crossed, hopefully they'll create this. Uh, you don't have to do this set if you don't want to, but I think it's for fun. Uh, I am gonna dabble a little bit in the other sports, maybe some basketball down the, down the road. Or if you just wanna do the baseball part of it, just do the baseball part of it. Uh, the choice is yours. So I'm gonna flip the phone around and just page through the book and give you some give you guys a, a look at some of the cards that are in this book and show you the five cards that I'm going to submit to PSA to hopefully create this set registry. All right, so hold on one second. Oh, before I flip the phone, I just want to give another update on the YouTube Baseball Card Hall of Fame. Uh, I still would like to see more votes coming in. Uh, like I said, go back to the video where I made the announcement for the contest and you can either just type in your, your uh, picks uh, in the comment section below, or if you do a video, copy and paste the video link to the comment section below. If you don't know how to do that, then just type in a comment saying that you did a video and just for me to go to your channel and check it out, okay? So I wanna get a few more votes in, maybe five or 10 more, and uh, then I'll like to announce the cards for the 2020 Baseball Card Hall of Fame. So I'm gonna flip the phone around and we'll flip through the book here and show you guys some of the cards and show you my five cards that I'm gonna submit in order to hopefully, hopefully create another PSA set registry. So hold on one second. Okay, and we're back. So here's the new book, Vintage Collector, where they're ranking the 70 cards of the 70s, the super 70s, 
April 8, 1974. With this swing, Hank Aaron slugged career home run number 715, surpassing Babe Ruth in the all-time list. So I was paging through this earlier tonight, and there's some really phenomenal articles in here. Vintage Collector is uh, really good. I mean, I don't really pay attention too much to the price guide in here, but the articles are really awesome. So, well, I kind of went to number one right off the bat. So here we go. We're going to start backwards in number 70. I'm not going to name every card. Just a couple here and there. George Gervin was one of my favorite basketball players. These two cards are in the 300 set. Let's go over here. Gordy Howe card, Burt Blylevin, Dale Murphy. Beautiful 71 tops, Bob Gibson. Moses Malone, rookie. Really like this hostess, uh, Hank Aaron card. Mean Joe Green rookie, Marcel Dion rookie card. These were really cool when I was really cool and popular when I was a kid in '73. These wacky packs. Uh, they're 16 series. I looked up. <clears throat> this is series number one, and this is the most popular card or sticker uh, from that set is Band Aik, and it's they're really really funny. I suggest do some research and check these out. Um, they're kind of like a joke spinoff of, you know, it's supposed to be Band Aid, and we'll say Band Aik and just look them up, and you'll actually laugh at some of these things. They're really, really funny. Lynn Swan, rookie card. Harmon Killebrew's last card with the Kansas City Royals. It was a 76 SSPC. Secretariat. Bobby Clark, rookie card. Nice. Flyers, Broad Street Bullies. Fred Lane, rookie. Funny how they have the Phil Jackson rookie card in here after the Last Dance documentary is over. Uh, if you would have to ask me before the Last Dance documentary if a Phil Jackson rookie card would be in there, I'd say no. But I think, I don't know when this list was created before the documentary or during it, don't know. Franco Harris rookie, Gary Carter rookie. Here's a movie card of, yeah, CPO, CP3. -O. 71 Nolan Ryan, very cool card. Dorsett rookie, Carlton Fisk rookie down here, Trammell. Really cool Will Chamberlain card. One of my favorite hockey players of all time, Guy Lafleur. Bill Walton rookie. You've never seen this card before. Any of you guys out there, any Oakland A's fans or Ricky Henderson fans, if you ever knew about this card, this 77 Chong Ricky Henderson. Interesting. Wonder what the population on that is. These are very a very cool, popular set. The 71 Tops Greatest Moments. There's a Muhammad Ali card, so that's awesome. Ken Dryden, rookie. Yeah, mainly there is mostly baseball cards in here. I didn't, didn't do a count check, but I would say more than 50% are baseball cards. You gotta. I mean, I'm sorry. Even if you're not a hockey fan, if you're just an investor, I mean, a Wayne Gretzky rookie is huge. And number one is his Opeachy. So he does have an Opeachy and a Topps rookie. This is way more affordable. Of course, Mike Schmidt, number three. I love this list already. <laughs> so, real quick, I'm gonna pick the show you the cards that I picked from here. I have a lot more than five cards already from this book. But I just picked out five random cards. First up is the 71 Tops Thurman Munson. Great looking card. This will be one that I'll submit tonight. Newest Hall of Famer, 71 Tops Ted Simmons rookie. There's a theme going on here. There's a third straight card from 71 that I didn't even realize. 71 Tops Burt Belay 11 rookie and a 7. 75 tops, Gary Carter rookie. And the fifth and final card, the Oz man, 79 tops, Ozzy Smith. So I'll be doing my request tonight for the Super 70s PSA set registry by who else? Mr. Mike Payne.
uh, again, I really suggest you, you get this magazine. There's The articles alone are worth it. Um, I'm actually working on the 72 top set, and there's a huge article in the 72 tops, which I have to read. Really, really cool. Um, here it is. Ranked in order of 70 greatest and most memorable trading cards of the decade by Mike Payne. Okay. So also, I keep forgetting to tell you, I'm also on Facebook. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook.com slash Ray from Philly. Doing pretty well over there. I have about 125 followers, and I just started that page in November. And again, don't forget the YouTube Baseball Card Hall of Fame. Submit your vote. I want to get that done and over with because I did say before I did the contest that when I reached 1,500 subscribers, I wanted to do a 1,500 sub contest. Well, I've already surpassed 1,500. <clears throat> Thanks to all of you, I'm at 1515 subscribers. So I really want to get the Hall of Fame thing out of the way and, uh, you know, move on to the contest. So I appreciate all your likes and comments. Don't forget to get this book when you can. Very cool book. Vintage Collector. I'm probably going to subscribe to this routinely now uh, rather than the regular Beckett. So I appreciate all your likes and comments, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, like I always say, have fun with the hobby. Take care and see you real soon.